Alrighty, welcome into PBA TV. We're ready to get this opening tip done between the Bulls and the Tiburones. Tiburones hold the ball in. They're in black. Quick pump fake. Now a quick step up. Kick out. Ball fake pull up from about 15 is short off the iron. Long rebound carries out to the Bulls. The front court, far side, working on a couple dribble moves. Into Williams. Williams has it taken away. Back the other way, it's three on two. Tiburones to the basket. Layup off the window, no good. Offensive rebound, but a whistle. And it looks like we will have a trip for the Tiburones to the line. It will be Christian Williams shooting the foul shots. First one is good. Tiburones with the two free throws. So nothing. Here come a breakaway layup on the other end. Just a complete leak out. No one back for the Tiburones. And the Bulls tie it at two. He pass into the corner. Tiburones into the front court. Backing down Williams. Kicks out top of the circle. Three is on the way. Back iron. No good off the miss by... Looks like that was... I didn't see who that was actually. But either way... Bulls back the other way. Three is up. Long rebound taken by the Tiburones. Tiburones into the front court. Going all the way. No good. Rebounded by the Bulls. Bulls all the way. Back to the basket. Nice move and a good finish from Chris Johnson. And a quick timeout. The Bulls up 4-2. to two. No doubt there'll be some uh, conversations to be had here. Uh, not a great start for the Tiburones defensively. The uh, Bulls have had a couple of runouts real quick and a couple of easy layups. So now I guess your time to talk it over, if you will. And that's what we'll, that's what we'll see. It's uh, early in the game, obviously, 8.42. All right, here we go. The team's taking the court once again. Over a circle. Hand off. Right back. Three up. No good. Way off the mark. Bodies flying and a no call. So here come the Bulls. Back into the front court. Pulling up from ring three. Is good. Big shot there from the Bulls, and we're back to a five-point advantage. Coming the other way, going right to the basket, all the way to the cup with the finish. Nice move by Derek Brown. And he gets fouled in the act, so he'll head to the line. The Bulls coached by Phil McKnight. The Tiburones by Ricky Benitez. Brown makes the free throw. Back to a one possession game. Pressure defense. Breaking the press with a tough dribble is Henry. Henry goes for a bounce pass. Up and under. Nice English, but it doesn't go. Offensive rebound pulled down by the Bulls. Kick out. Three is up. And good. What a play. Great second effort from the Bulls to make that happen. Nelson with the rebound and kick out. And the three by Johnson. Back the other way. Or check that Alexander. Back the other way. Tiburoni's answer. So it's back to two. And eight. Just under three gone by here in the first. Williams looking for it in the post. Gets it. Spin move in the lane. Strong move. Can't get it. Rebound to the Bulls. Another offensive rebound. Reposting for Williams. Instead, they'll try a three. Top of the circle. That one's up long. Rebound, battled for, contact on the follow. Williams with the foul. Tiburones basketball. Front court, Williams at the controls. Crossover dribble, step back three, up. 
Bounces off the front of the iron and off. Rebound the Bulls. Bulls into the front court. Attacking the basket. Blow by. Nice left-handed finish. Wow, what a blow by from Chris Johnson. He's had a different gear there. Tiberone is unable to keep in front. Three is up, or maybe just a long two. I believe that's going to be a long two. It is. And back to two. Driving baseline. Floater. Strong finish, man. What a... That was a mix between a floater and a layup by Nelson. That was just a beautiful finish. That, that angle right there is very difficult to make a layup from. Now Brown at the controls for the Tiburones. Attacking the rim. Kicks it out. Nearly stolen by Williams. Gets it back to the top of the circle. Three is up and good by the Tiburones. Wooden Jr. with that bucket. And it's a one-point game. Four minutes gone by in the first. Williams with the screen. Driving down the teeth of the defense with another runner. That one more of a finger roll. And Johnson... Has really put in work early on in this game. Three-point game. Three is up. Brown. Long. Rebound bounces out. Right into the shooting pocket for the Tiburones. And they make no mistake. A fortuitous bounce leads to the easy two-pointer. Back to one. Big screen from Williams. At the controls. Looking to keep control. Almost lost the handle. Did Martin. They're going to say it actually was last touched by Martin. Looks like maybe the Tiburones got a hand on it, but I guess Martin touched it last. Tiburones basketball with a chance to take the lead midway through the first. Mid post, double team coming. Dribbling away from traffic, trying to get it away, and does. Good job by Wooten Jr. handing it off. Now looking right on the cut, and a blown layup, but Wooten Jr. there right for the putback. Good job by Wooten Jr. cleaning that up after a point-blank miss by Williams. And Tiburones have their first lead. Back to the basket. Attacking and finishing. What a play from the Bulls. And it's 18-17. to 17. Brown with the pump fake. Doesn't take it. Wooden will. Short. Rebound. Fought for and taken by Brown. What a rebound by the guard. Going into the teeth of the defense. Can't get it to go. There is contact, but no foul. They'll say the ball will stay with the Tiburones. Down one. Tell you what, Derek Brown has been tremendous. It really is giving a lot of problems for this defense. Into Wooden Jr. Hands it off. Three is up from Brown. That one is short. Wooden Jr. again tried to rebound it. This time he's unable to, and it's going to go to the Bulls. Bulls with the ball and the one-point lead. Williams with the screen. Trying to go baseline. Floating it off the backboard is no good by Flowers. There is a foul, and it will be on in the shot, in the motion of shooting. It looked like it might have been on the, full, on the floor, rather. But, nope, it is in the act, so Flowers will head to the line to make this a full one possession game. First one is good. It's two for two is Flowers and it's back to three. Tiburonis looking to go with it one or tie with the three. Looks like it might have gone off the foot but no, they'll say off the knee Stay off the knee of the Bulls? They're going to stay off the Tiburones. Both guys are standing out of bounds. And yes, they'll stay off the Tiburones. Looked like it went off the foot there. So there you go. Bulls take it over. Three. Thought about and said goes to Williams. Williams, nice catch and roll and a good soft finish at the basket. That was a nice adjustment on the Quick shot fake and pass by Nelson. Williams on the finish. Now a three the other way from the Tiburones is no good. Ball is in the air. Bodies falling down. No call. Back the other way. The Bulls up and under. Good defense from Wooden. Blocks it and saves it. Great job by Wooden Jr. And here we go with the Tiburones. Wide open three. Corner up. In and out. Rebound fought for. Out of bounds. Last touch by the Tiburones. 
22-17. Bulls up five with the ball. Looks like they're going to try to slow it down. Don't be surprised if they go for Williams here. Williams now coming out for a screen. Don't be surprised with the roll. Nope, instead they'll go right to the basket. I thought they might be setting up a pick and roll for Williams, but instead a drive right to the lane leads to a foul. And going to the line will be Henry. Makes the first. Rattles home the second. Two for two for Henry. And it's now a seven-point advantage for the Bulls, their largest of the game. Clock stopped at 328. We'll see what it leads down to as it's corrected. In the meantime, Tiberone is trying to attack. Really stolen. Now a good pass, good catch, and foul. Like they're going to get Henry with that one, so Wooten will head to the line. Wooten looking to make this a four point game, or five point game rather. His team down seven. Makes the first. See in the backcourt there. A couple of. Bulls getting ready to run. One of them, of course, Nelson. The other is Chris Alexander. Alexander wearing number 35, Nelson 34. And it will be Flowers bringing the ball down the court, number 95, for the Bulls. One. Screen from Williams. Resets on the other side. Flowers having a hard time with the handle. Now gives to Williams. Williams back to Flowers. Sets the quick screen. Good defense by the Tiburones, keeping in front of them, and now a steal. What a defensive sequence for the Tiburones. All the way to the basket, one-handed slam from Williams. What a play. And it's back to three. A three is up. In and out. Williams tries for the tip. No, ball is taken by the Tiburones. A chance to tie it with a three or come within one. Attack of the basket. Pump fake is good. Layup is good, and it's a one-point game. Just like that, the Tiburones close a seven-point advantage. And now back the other way, Williams is absolutely mauled on the breakout. The only play for the Tiburones there, so Williams not upset, but he will head to the line. That was a dynamite sequence for the Tiburones with both a combination of great defense and electrifying, just unbelievable athleticism from Williams with that one-handed throwdown. Williams now will be at the line. Makes the first. Twenty-five, twenty-three. Pulls up two. And make it three after Williams rattles home. Couple minutes left here in first, attacking the basket and missing and Brown was tipped out of bounds looks like it was last touched by the Bulls Brown will inbound in front of the Bulls bench looking around, finds a man cross court, nearly stolen that was a dangerous pass and now that one nearly went into the backcourt sloppy possession so far for the Tiburones, ends in a nice fade away from Wooden, who can't draw iron Ball goes out of bounds. Last touched by another member of the Tiburones. Didn't see who that was, but unable to control the rebound. And the Bulls take over. Here's Flowers. Flowers working against Brown. He's it into the backcourt. Brown had tipped it, so it's okay. Now he kicks it to the corner. Cutting down the lane is Williams. Williams with the lay-in. Nice play. I thought we were going to get another highlight there, but Williams goes for the conservative approach. Points count just the same. It's back to five. Under two to go in the first. Now Christian Williams working one-on-one -on -one against, I believe that's Alexander. Williams trying to make something happen. Check that. That was Chris Johnson on the defense against Williams. Johnson now tries to battle for the rebound. Can't get it to go. It ends up with an easy put in for the Tiburones, who now have drawn to within three. Back and forth first quarter. The screen from Williams. Back in the basket. Kicking it out. Three is up. That one's long. Williams an offensive rebound. 
Mola man on him, spins right into the lane, trying to draw the charge there, obviously as a last resort, but the ref's not buying it. So Brown concedes the lane to Williams, and the Bulls go back up five. And there Brown really had no choice in the matter. He pretty much went with a Hail Mary charge attempt and came up empty, so he was at the uncontested layup. And off the miss three, here come the Bulls again on the rebound. Back into the front court. Turner's dribble, picks it up, back out, top of the circle. He's setting and surveying is Johnson around the screen from Williams, keeps his dribble, now gets into the lane, kick out, wide open three is up. And that one is good. Nice kick out from Johnson over to Alexander and Alexander with the bucket. Eight-point advantage, largest so far of the game. This should be the last possession of the half. Williams lining it up. He'll probably make his move at about eight seconds or so. Now there he goes, kicks it out. Attacking the basket, going for the lay-in, and missing are the Tiburones, and that will do it for the first. Back for the second quarter. 35 33-25 is the score. Bulls on top. Williams with a nice catch down low. Beautiful pass. What a thread. That was just a great play all around, and the Bulls go up 10. First double-digit lead for the Bulls. No leads so far for the Tiburones. Crossover into the lane. Williams step back. Three is no good. It was a two, excuse me. No good, and here comes Johnson the other way into the front court with his dribble. Crossover left to right into the lane. Goes to the body. Finishes off the window. What a play from Johnson. It's now 12. Tiburon is looking for some offense here. Give it back to Williams in the corner. Williams palming the ball, now gets it to the post. Spin move. Up and under. No good. Strong rebound. Another opportunity, and again, no good. This one's chased down by the Bulls into the front court. Johnson. Johnson with the three on two. Wide open three on the far side. That one's no good. Rebound Tiburones. 37-25, the lane, up and under, nice little move, and yes, what a play from Brown. Eric Brown with that whirling dervish up and under, it's a beautiful move. Williams tries to set a screen, three is up, tough contested shot, no good, probably not the best shot taken there by Alexander. Here come the Tiburones, it's two on one, probably another bad move, but it ends up in the good situation and it ends up being a point for the Tiburone. So what do I know? Just some guy on the radio. 37-29. Three is up. And it's good. What a shot from Williams. Man, that was two defenders all over him early in the shot clock. That's one of those. No, no, no. Yes, yes, yes. And certainly McKnight happy the points went in. Maybe not so thrilled with the shot, but happy with the result. Brown lines up a long three. That one is good. Derek Brown. Eight-point game. Johnson, one-on-one, -on -one, goes for Williams. Williams face up, drives baseline. Easy finish at the rim. Rolls in and the foul. Matsu Williams continues to play great this tournament. Had a dominant performance in his first game and is playing great again here. Back to 10 with a chance at 11, pending the Williams free throw. Free throw is good. So Williams now continues to pour it on and the Bulls back up by 11 their largest lead so far has been 12 Tiburones back into the front court another long three from Brown this one caroms out probably not a good move to try to save that and it turns out that it does go out of bounds back to the Tiburones that's just one of those just let it go Brown will inbound from the near side corner. Gets it into a mid post. Wooden with a fadeaway. No good. Rebounded by Johnson. Then taken away from him by Brown. But it goes out of bounds. 
and the Bulls basketball. 43-32. Time to go baseline. Good defense cutting them off there. Tiberone is holding in pretty good. Nice come from behind block from Wooden. Kind of came from the other side of the play. I'm going to call a foul. I didn't see who it's on, but it's in the act. So that will send the Bulls to the line. That play started with Anthony Reyes trying to drive baseline. And a combination of Tiberone's defenders thwarted that. First free throw was good. To 12, which is the largest lead of the game, equals the largest lead of the game. He now has surpassed it at 13 as both free throws from Nelson are good. Largest lead of the game for the Bulls, 45-32. Just about three gone by in the second quarter. Court Williams to Wooden. Now that gives it to the post. Make a move. Long double clutch, no good. Rebounded by Johnson, who loses it, back to Wooden. Wooden, over to Brown. Brown around the screen, tries to attack the basket. Good defense, collapsing defense by the Bulls. Long three, late closeout, no good. Rebound is taken by Wooden, who tries a three from the corner and knocks it down. So after a contested battle for that long rebound, Wooden comes away with it and makes a three all in one motion. Pretty smooth play from Wooden. Back to 10, one-on-one, -on -one. Henry pulls back from about 17 at the angle and buries it. That was a tough shot from Henry. Good move. Back to 12. Williams across the timeline, now passes down low for Wooten. Wooten can't quite get it to go. There is some contact. I believe it's gonna be a foul against the Bulls. No, against the Tiburones, okay. Surprising. Not sure exactly what happened there, but either way, it's Bulls basketball. They have a 12-point lead in the ball. Into the front court. Now near side. Reyes holding in. Puts on the ground. One dribble hands it back off to the top of the circle. One-on-one. -on -one. Driving into the lane. Going off the window. No good. Ball is taken from the pack by Henry. And he's kind of hip-checked to the ground. But... Say he kind of just tripped because they give it to the Tipperones. Henry tried to sell that. Good job by him trying to sell it, but the refs aren't buying. We'll take a quick timeout. Tipperones timeout. It is a 10 point game here on PBA TV. And as you watch this game, one thing to uh, 12 point game, excuse me, one thing to keep in mind with this game too is that because these games are all part of a tournament. These guys know each other pretty well, even though they've not necessarily played together outside of this tournament very much. But when you play and scrimmage and practice with the same people for any length of time, you quickly get to learn their tendencies. So it's a um, it's one of those like quick learnings and then probably forgettings. <laughs> you know, it's one of those things. But so if you start seeing a number of good anticipatory defensive plays, which we've seen a few from the Tiburones so far, not as many from the Bulls, but the Bulls' offense has been much better, which is why they have the lead. But if you see those type of plays, that's why. Driving to the lane, trying to finish, and doing so. Wow, what extension from Brown on that running right-handed layup. Back to 10. Top of the circle, three, Johnson. Steps in front of the three, so it ended up being a two. No good. Offensive rebound taken. No good. And a whistle on the floor after the second attempt. So it looked like it was going to be a three from Johnson, and at the last second, he kind of stepped in front of that line. Missed the two. Offensive rebound led to what is now free throw attempts. First one is good. Henry on the make. Also, Henry makes a pair of free throws. It's back to 12. Tiburones have gotten into the habit of changing, exchanging baskets here with the Bulls, which 
can't do forever being your teammates down. And now the Bulls on a steal, trying to go over the top, and no good, and a dunk on the other end. At least an attempt. Wow. Jeez. This game is picking up intensity as Wooten tries a three. That one bounces off the back iron. No good taken by the Bulls. And they did count the dunk there. So what a great play on the other end. T attacking and having his shot thwarted. Here come the Tiburones back the other way. Gardner in the game for the first time. Dishes to Brown. Brown tries to wrap it around. Can't get it to go. Stolen by the Bulls. Bulls looking to come back the other way. Tiburones back. Bulls up by 14 with the ball. Went halfway through the first half. Three is up off the front of the iron. No good. Rebound on the carom to the Bulls. And going to the deck is Henry. Let's see the call here. And it's going to say out of bounds. No foul, so Tiburone basketball. 51-37. Gardner looking. Pulls up from about the elbow. A little bit to the right. Nice tip from the weak side by Williams is good. So good play by Williams coming from the weak side to tip that one home. Back down to 12. Picking up the dribble in the corner now. A lazy pass is picked off by Wooten. That was an easy steal for Wooten. Now he's attacking the rim. One-on-one. -on -one, and he gets it to go with a nice running finger roll. I'll tell you something. Wooten Jr. has been just tremendous. Probably the best player on the court for either team so far. Williams now trying to use that size and strength one-on-one, -on -one, but a double team is coming. Williams trying to control it, kicks it out. Ball fake, now a pull-up from about 19, way off the mark. Long rebound out to Gardner. Gardner off to the races, throws it ahead. Catch in traffic, back out to Wooden. Back out to Gardner, excuse me, over to Williams. Williams tries a three from the elbow, no good. Rebounded off the front of the iron. Here come the Bulls. Three and change to go into the lane. Tried to go window. No good. Rebound by Wooten off the miss from Martin. Back into the front court. Tiburones. Wide open three. Is up. And good. And that three is courtesy of McCormick. His first basket. And it's down to seven. 51-38. Williams looking for a post position. Good job fronting and denying. Williams now gets an offensive rebound, puts it back up and in, plus the foul. It was great defense, really, by the Tiburones. I believe it was Collins on the defense. But, unfortunately, after the rebound, he was out of position, and Williams with the easy basket. Williams rolls home the free throw. Williams back to 10. One on one. Wooden going to the basket and finishing again. He has been absolutely unstoppable and playing with great confidence right now is Steve Wooden Jr. Eight point game. Trying to lob it down to a rolling Williams. It's tipped out of bounds. Good denial defense that time from the Tiburones. Bulls basketball to the right of their basket, off in the corner there. Looking for someone, trying to get it in. Finds his way to Williams. Williams trying to make something happen with the size advantage. Goes glass, can't get it to go. A little strong. Rebound Tiburones back into the front court. Wooten tries a three. No good. Rebound Bulls. Davis, with that rebound, tipped out of bounds. Alrighty, welcome back. As we get back into the action, you see the Bulls with the basketball up by eight near side, holding in Flowers. Jab step moves. Now post to Williams. Williams directing traffic. Now attacks the basket. Goes into the lane. Goes up a running layup. No good. Rebound taken by the Tiburones. 
still in contention, ends up in a foul against the Bulls, Tiburonis basketball. Approaching halftime here. Both the Bulls and Tiburonis have played a very entertaining first half. Bulls have been just a little bit better overall, hence the eight-point lead. But Tiburonis have been very, very good as a team defensively. They've made a number of team defensive plays that have been very impressive as Wooten, who's been the best player today by far, spins into the lane, finishes. Will they count the basket? Yes, they will. And the foul. Steve Wooten Jr. continues his first half rampage and has just been absolutely dominant for the Tiburones. Tell you what, you get him a little help from somewhere else whether it's Gardner, Christian Williams, or elsewhere. And this could very easily be a six or eight point lead for the Tiburones. He has been just spectacular as he knocks down the free throw. Flowers will handle the ball, bring it up the court for the Bulls. Cross midcourt, screen from Williams. Now gives it up to the far side. Right in the grill is Gardner. Good defense and breaking that defense and attacking the basket with the sweet finish. Wow, what a play from Chris Johnson. That was great defense from Gardner and company, but Johnson with just a determined, beautiful effort gets the basket and Gardner answers right back, right back at Johnson one-on-one -on -one with the 15-foot pull-up. Tiburonis, as close as they've been most of this quarter, down only five. Nice wraparound pass and the finish from Williams, from Johnson. What a play from Chris Johnson. An absolute room service dime. Under a minute to go. Post. Wooten had it tipped away. He went for the drop step spin move. In the Tiburonis, Tiburonis basketball. Under the basket. It in. On the catch, McCormick working one on one against Flowers. Spins into the lane, throws up a floater, no good, drawing air, goes out of bounds to the Bulls. Two or three second difference shot and game call. As the clock on the screen ticks off, that will be adjusted. Rony basketball turnover. Bonus something happen. Williams. Body to shield and gets the catch. Shot clock down to about seven. There it is. So about two second difference, like I said. Williams one on one. And has it stripped away. Going the other way. One on one. All the way to the cup. No good. The tip. Will it count? Yes, it does. So the tip does count at the end of the half, and that's a nine-point advantage for the Bulls as we head to the half here on PBA TV.
Second half basketball. Severonis and Bulls. Bulls up nine after the last second tip in basket. Christian Williams gives it to Gardner in the corner. Another pull up. This one from about 16. No good from the corner. Ball is taken by the Tiburones after the steal, and they go right back into the cup and finish. Nice play on the steal and finish by the Tiburones, and it's down to seven. Bulls coming back the other way. Here's Henry charging to the basket, gets all the way to the cup, draws contact, but they say it was phantom contact, and they say out of bounds off of Henry. So Tiburones taking it over, looking to cut this lead down even further. Three is up. That one is no good. Rebounded by Williams. Williams looking for a guard. Is now double teamed. Puts it on the deck himself. Running against the half court. Good solid awareness to know the half court timer was ticking. Now a steal. Back the other way. Gardner on the double clutch. Can't get it to go. Clean up aisle five. And the Tiburones on the putback. Down low. For Williams, bad pass from Flowers. It goes out of bounds. 60 to 55 is the score. Bulls have led this game pretty much start to finish. Tiburones now bringing it across midcourt. Screen from Wooten. A quick little touch screen. Now he tries a three, and that one's good. Wooten Jr. continues to just absolutely excel in this one. 60 to 58. Williams with the ball, walking it up midcourt, gets it across the timeline, hands it back off. At the controls is Turner. Turner attacking, going to the rim, running out of bounds. Williams tries to corral it, can't, and Gardner comes away for the Tiburones into the front court. It's one on one, kicks out. Wooden again. This one is good as well. Just an unbelievable display from Wooden Jr. Game is all tied up after that running layup from Wooten. Johnson crosses away from the screen right to the basket. Has it tipped from behind by Williams. Did it go off of Johnson's knee or did it go off the hand of Williams? They'll say off the hand of Williams. Bulls will retain possession. Inbounding just to the left of their basket. Gets it in for Williams. Williams working that baseline. Has it tipped away. Gets it back. Goes to the cup. Can't get it to go. Blocked it looked like. Here come the Tiburones. Defense is back. Gardner tries a ball fake. Nice breakdown. That was probably an open three. Instead, they go to a cutter. The cutter goes right to the basket. Can't get it to go. But McCormick will head to the line after drawing the foul. It's probably an open three. But they end up instead with the free throws for McCormick. And pending these free throws, the Tipper Otis may very well take the lead. Quick timeout. <laughs> 60 to 60. And the Bulls have led this game almost cover to cover. And instead, now they're looking at probably a one to two point deficit. Turn to the floor. And line up in the free throw position. First free throw rattles around and does not fall. Falls off to the right. And McCormick misses both. Wow, the Bulls fortunate there. Now you wonder about that three that they passed up. It ends up with nothing. And now the Tiburones almost got a steal. Instead of three in the corner, no good. Rebound Tiburones into the front court. Gardner going to the basketball. Heads out of bounds off the knee of Gardner. And it will be bull basketball. Tiburones up one. I guess they made one of those free throws. It looked, well, the first one looked like it missed to me, but I guess... Uh, my eyesight is going, guys. I just can't see like I used to. Hey, what can you say? It happens. If you have the privilege of getting older, or if you have the curse of being blind from birth, as I had, not literally blind, but poor eyesight, that's what happens. 
Williams goes into the basket. Can't get it to go. Gets his own rebound. Has it stripped and taken away by Williams. Williams kicks it up to the court. It's Gardner on the breakout. Coming from behind. Trying to close out as Johnson can't get there. Gardner with the finish. The runner's up three. And now a near steal. But it stays with the Bulls. Out of bounds off Wooten. Bulls get it in. Full pressure applied. And Gardner comes away. Top of the circle. Three is up. And good! What a play from Gardner and a nice shot to boot from Basako. And now we have a six-point Tiburones lead, their largest of the day, down to Williams using that size, and he is fouled. Not much you can do there if you're McCormick. That's all you could do. So Williams will head to the line. And I'll tell you something, in this first almost three and a half minutes of action in the third quarter, Tiburones have been the better team. Williams misses the free throw. Bulls dominated the first half for the most part. Tiburones, though, were able to hang around. They didn't get blown out. They didn't lose their composure. And now here they are up five after Williams makes the second. Splits the pair. And Tiburones now with the ball up five. Six and a half to play in the third. Three is up. Short off the front of the iron. Rebound by Johnson on the carom into the front court. Goes all the way. Loses the ball, but they say touched by the uh, Tiburonis. Unless they're going to change this call. It was initially called in the direction of the Bulls, but now it's saying Tiburonis basketball. So Tiburonis will take the ball with the lead. Trying to go back again. Williams trying to defend against Gardner. Gardner draws the contact. Tell you what, it's a bang-bang call, 50-50 call to be sure. Williams appeared to have good position. They're going to say he kind of came down a little bit with the arm. And that's one thing you have to be careful about as a big. When you're contesting someone attacking the basket, you really have to keep those arms straight up in the air. Any perception of downward motion, even if it's not really downward motion, will usually get you a whistle. And Gardner makes the first one. Now a six-point advantage, Gardner and the Tiburones. Pending the last free throw. Now it's seven. Six and a half to go in the third. Mid court, Henry. Going to the basket falls down. Nearly a turnover. Bulls keep possession. Working in that corner, a couple jab steps, pull off from about 20. Short off the iron, no good. Rebounded by Williams. He can't get it to go. Gets it again and finishes the second time. So, Matsu Williams continues to be a force around the paint. And the Bulls cut it to five. Gardner tries a three. That one's no good. Rebound by the Bulls. At the controls for the Bulls is Turner. Turner around the screen from Gardner. Gets to the cup. Goes to the basket. Can't finish. No call. Here come the Tiburones. Five-point game. Williams, swing pass to Gardner. Gardner swings it to the corner. Wide open three. That one is no good. Rebounded by the Bulls. Johnson nearly loses it. Gets it down for Williams. Williams got to hurry with the three-second call potentially pending. And the call, I believe, is on the floor. Against the Tiburones. Looks like someone may have fouled Williams on the catch. Williams catches it at 18 feet from the basket in the corner. Double teamed. And taken away. Good, quick double team by the Tiburones. But then a turnover. Steal by Johnson. That three is up. No good. Oh, he's upset at himself. He wanted to make that one. Back the other way. Wooten catches and finishes the easy layup. What a play. 70 to 63. Tiburones. Another steal. And back off to steal. Wooden gets it to the cup and finishes. My goodness. This guy has just been spectacular. 72 63.
misses the free throw. So it will remain 72-63. A near 180 turnaround. Tiburones were down by as many, I believe, as 14 in the first half. Now up by 9. Flowers tries a 3. That one's no good. Ball is bad high in the air. Comes back down for the Bulls. And a nice reverse finish from Henry. Bulls cut it back to 7. Kicking it out. Nearly lost that of bounds. Tiburones keep it. Spinning into the lane, trying a double clutch finish. It goes. Will it count? I believe it does, yes. Eddie Avia will head to the basket. Head to the free throw line, rather. Trying to make it a double digit Tiburones advantage. And he does. Seventy-five, sixty-five. Bulls really struggling this third quarter, trying to get something going a little bit past halfway. Henry goes to the basket, double clutch, powers to the lane, can't get it to go, but does head to the line. And you know, one thing I've liked about the play of Ravion Henry throughout this game, but especially in the last couple of minutes, you could see just from the vantage point of a broadcaster as he misses the first, some players have a sense for knowing when their team is in the need of some type of shot in the arm, momentum changing play. And you see this in the NBA, Russell Westbrook is like this. He, he doesn't always make it happen but he goes and does his absolute best to make a spectacular play or a momentum-shifting play, something to break the tide, so to speak. And Henry has done that over these last couple of minutes for the Bulls, who really need something good to happen to kind of get their energy and their, and their momentum back in their favor, as the Tiburones have really dominated this, this whole quarter. And they have turned a halftime deficit I believe six into now a lead of 10 after that free throw by Brown. So it's been a uh, real big turnaround in the last seven minutes or so of this game, six, seven minutes of this game. And after both free throws, it's back to 11, which is the largest lead of the night for the Tiburones. Largest lead for the Bulls was 14. Near side, Bulls working. It's Alexander spinning into the lane. Throws it up. And they're going to say Bulls basketball. It was tipped out of his hands. 3.30 to go in the third. They get it in. Henry spins. Again, attacking, trying to make something happen. Maybe not the best shot as it was one on two, but he does draw the contact, so... As they say, it works. Now will he make the free throws? First one is good. Second one is good as well. 77-67, Tiburone is up by 10. 3.20 to go. Crossover into the lane, runner. Good full extension and a beautiful soft touch from Brown gets it to go. That's a hard shot, made it look easy. And trapped right there at the half court line and I believe it's going to be a turnover unless they call the foul. Let's see. Might have been some contact called. I believe there was. In my neighborhood, guys, we call that a bailout call. Bulls were in deep trouble there, trapped against that half court line. 79 to 67, ending free throws. Martin misses the first. Finds 
up to second and converts. Gardner across midcourt. Gets a screen. Pulls up. Three is up. In and out. Rebounded by the Bulls. Trapping defense applied in the full court by Tiburones. They break it through the Bulls. Kick out. Far side three up. And good. That's what happens when you break the full court press. You usually end up with an open three. And they do right there. Collins into the lane. Drawing some contact. Not sure the call. It's an eight point. Now they will send Collins to the line. I thought so. So it's an eight point Tiburones advantage. Pending the free throws from Collins. First one is good. Second one good as well. A couple of free throws from Collins. Whistle here. Violation. Not sure. Both coaches making some substitutions. See on the uh, near side here. Of course, the coach of the Bulls. Across the midcourt line. Getting into the lane, kicking it out. Lining up a three. Leaving it short. It's Martin. Front court, here come the Tiburones. Long three, short. And a bad pass from Williams ends up with the Tiburones. Now it's still on the ground. Hustled down by the Bulls, but ends up with a layup for the Tiburones. And I believe we're going to have a timeout here. And then there's an injury on the court. Oh, boy. I'm not sure of the injury, but it does not look good. I think that's Williams down. Leg injury or what? Looks like you're grabbing the knee there. Not something you want to see. Tiburones gather around here. You see the trainers. They're grabbing that knee. Try to get him on his feet. Mediavia. So we'll see what happens there as they try to work them over in the out of bounds area to the left of that bench. And as they say, the show must go on. Players take the court. It's 80 to 71. with the ball. Down by nine. Two minutes to go in the quarter. Bounce pass to Williams. Williams attacks the basket. That's going to be an offensive foul. That's an easy call. Yep, and Williams not happy about it, but that was a no-brainer call for the official. Great job drawing the contact. Great position by the Tiburones. Turnover for the Bulls. Wide open three for Wooten. They say he stepped out of bounds. Bulls down by 11 after being up as much as 14 in the first half.
Evan Johnson. Ball. Johnson now working. Tries a three. No good. Ball is tipped. Still loose. Ends up to Brown on the save by the Bulls. Brown going all the way. Tries to go right to the basket. And is hit in the process. We'll see if that's going to be a foul in the act or on the floor. So they're going to give him free throws. Brown will head to the line. Looking to extend this to the largest lead of the game. For the Tiburones. And he does. That 12 points equals the largest lead of the game. The next one would produce a new largest lead of the game for the Tiburones. Largest lead of the game overall was the Bulls in the first half at 14. 13 point advantage. Tiburones, 84 71. Minute and change to go in the third. Crossover dribble. Nice move into the lane. Throws it up at the rim. Hard. Expecting contact. No call. Here come the Tiburones off the long rebound. It's three on two. Three is up. Gardner swishes it home. And now we have a 17 point, 16 point advantage. Excuse me. Largest of the game. Williams. Triple teamed. Cutter. Nice look from Williams. And a good soft finish from Turner. What a play. Check that Martin, excuse me, on the finish. Beautiful play from Martin and Williams, and now a foul is drawn on the other end. First free throw is good from Brown. Second one good as well. 16 point advantage, 89-73. Hacking, going to the rim and having the ball stripped from behind. Alexander wiping the sweat from his brow. It looks like a non-shooting foul at first, but Alexander will try his luck at the stripe. Makes the first. 89-74. And he makes the second. One-on-one -on -one Gardner and Martin. Gardner sizing him up. Dribbles. Looking for that pull-up, perhaps. Instead, kicks it to the corner. Wide open three is up. And good. Nice play from Gardner to set up the shot. And a beautiful bucket. Back the other way come the Bulls trying to make something happen here. And a steal by the Tiburones. Clock winding down. That shot will not count. And that will do it for the third quarter. 92-75 here on PBA TV. Fourth quarter. Get ready to start here on PBA TV. Gary Aid with you. Bulls down a bunch after being up a bunch early. 92-75. So a 17-point advantage for the Tiburones. And Johnson tries to pull up. It's a little short. It goes off the knee of a Tiburones player. So it will be bull basketball. That does not reset, reset the shot clock, so there'll be 14 left on the shot clock. Remember, a change of possession has to happen, which it did not. Going and attacking, going right to the rim, no good. Can't get it to go. Offensive rebound, no check it. Defensive rebound, and we're back the other way. 72-75, Gardner. 
rolls. Gets it over for Brown. Brown gets to the basket. He can't get it to go. Got a whistle on the floor. They're going to say shooting foul. Brown will go to the line. Ninety two seventy five, ninety three seventy five after the make. And Brown makes a pair. A nineteen point advantage. Really just a total three sixty degree turnaround here in the second half. Bulls have just struggled so much on offense in the Tiburones. Well, they have not. <laughs> Nelson gets it over for Williams. Williams goes to the basket. He's mauled on his way there. Williams will try a couple of free throws. Williams lining it up. Couple of bounces. And the first one is long. Splits a pair, making the second. It's ninety four seventy six. Brown, one on one against Nelson, pulls up for three and knocks it down. Derek Brown with the three, and it's now a 21 point advantage for the Tiburones. What a second half. Johnson attacking, feeding Williams down low. Hacked, gets it back, no call, gets it in. Good big man move from Williams. But they have a long way to go, and that's not going to help. A run out two on one ends up with a layup for Wooten Jr. Who dominated the first half and a little more quiet here in the second, but has had a great game overall as the Bulls get a basket there off of Henry's make. Gardner pulls up 17, a little short, rebound. Wooten Jr. goes up with a soft touch. Nice finish by Wooten Jr., and it's back to 21. Gardner with a little full court press now retreats one on one against Johnson. Johnson feeds Williams around the free throw line, he backs his way down. Spins, pump fake, draws the contact, heads to the line. I'll tell you what, win, lose, or draw for the Bulls in this game. Of the games in this tournament I've had the privilege of calling, Williams and Wooten Jr. have been by far the best players I've seen. Derek Brown has had a very good game today. But, man, I'll tell you what, Williams has been very consistent, very reliable, and he knows who he is. You love to see that in the young big man as he makes the free throw. And then today, Wooten Jr. has just been stellar, just otherworldly with the way he's played. And I give him a lot of credit for a great game. He really kept the Tiburones in the game when the Bulls were dominating in the first half. And ever since then, everyone else has kind of come to the party. Here comes Collins getting to the rack, and the ball is out of bounds. I believe less touched by the Bulls. No free throws, just an inbound side out. Gardner triggers it in. Wooten Jr. tries a three. That one is good. My goodness. Continues to make shot after shot. He's coming back alive here. Now it's 22. 104 82 is the score. Trapping defense applied. They break it nicely. Flowers gets it to the corner. Up and under reverse. No good. Here comes Gardner. Throws it up ahead. And going on a running reverse and finish. What a circus shot. My goodness, Brown, and now he gets a steal on the other end. Derek Brown, a couple of sensational plays back into the front court. Alley oop, a little excited, a little high. No good. Here come the Bulls the other way. Williams with a breakaway dunk. Gardner lobs it back. Collins into the front court. Crossover dribble, right to left. Kicks it into the corner. Now swing pass. Brown tries a wing three. Off the mark. Rebound comes out. Tipped out of bounds. Last touched by the Tiburones. A 
Under th over three minutes gone by here in the fourth. Just under seven to go. Three is up from Johnson. No good and nearly out of bounds. And it does go out of bounds. Brown took his eye off the ball momentarily. And it cost him. He had that rebound. He was looking down court before he fully secured it. And it'll be Bulls basketball. Break for the Bulls. Gets it in for Williams. Williams tries to use the backboard. Can't get it to go. Rebound is taken by the Bulls. Henry tries on the putback. Can't get it to go. Gets it again. And this time it does go. Good second effort from Henry. Third effort even. Three is up. And good. And the rule of the two-pointer. 22-point advantage for the Tiburones. Williams into the lane. Runner finishes. Nice play. Point game. Three is up. That one's no good. Ball caroms all the way to the corner. Three is up. That one's also no good. Caroms to the other corner. Taken by Johnson. Johnson tries to push it. Gets across midcourt. Keeps his dribble. Still has his dribble. Now gets to the lane. Goes up with a little floater. Can't get it to go. Rebound Tipperones into the front court. It's three on two. Corner shot is up. No good. The net is still tangled up up there. And now an offensive rebound comes out to Williams. Kicks it out on the tap out. Tiburones try a three. Short. He'll try again. This time Collins will try a runner. That one does not go. And all of a sudden no one can throw the ball into the ocean. Here come the Bulls. One on one the other way. Henry double clutch. Runner can't get it to go. Tapping is good by Flowers. It's a heck of a play. And it's under 20 again for the first time in a while. It's now 108-90, but we're about halfway through the fourth. Williams tries to bounce it down low for Wooten Jr. Instead, it gets redirected, ends up in the corner three. Air ball coming the way is Johnson attacking, going all the way the other side, and finishes. Johnson goes coast to coast. 108-92. It's a 16-point deficit for the Bulls. Attacking, going into the lane, getting it to go, and finishing through the contact at that. Nice play from McCormick. And one thing that you'll notice as you rise through the ranks in any sport, but specifically basketball, as McCormick makes the free throw, is you'll find that the difficulty of shot, the average shot difficulty in an absolute sense becomes greater, but the difficulty as Henry makes a beautiful contested shot, that's a perfect point of what I'm saying, the relative difficulty for the players becomes lower. So a shot that at a lower level than this like a double clutch, for example, or a finish through contact might be a low percentage shot. For players of this level, it's a higher percentage shot. And that only increases as you go up the ladder of competition. Back on the call here, Wooten will be at the line shooting free throws. It's a 17 point edge. Just over four to go. Wooten makes it 18 with the first free throw. That's two. No real sense of urgency here from the Bulls. Johnson, his one on one basketball, tries a mid range jumper, leaves it off the front iron, rebounded by Williams. Williams throws it up ahead, and it's stolen by Johnson. Coming back the other way, here come the Bulls. Waiting for the defense to settle, then trying a contested mid ranger. Not a good play from the Bulls, as Turner missed it. 
Verona is turning over the other end. Here comes Flowers. Flowers into the front court. Another three. This one, I believe, was Turner. That one's short. Rebound to Verona. He's back the other way. Breaking away with a two-handed dunk is Wooten Jr., who is putting the finishing touches on what has been a spectacular overall performance from him. Definitely player of the game status. Into the lane. Henry can't get the floor to go. Rebound by Brown. Here he comes into the front court. It's three on three. Brown breaks down the defense, leaves it off the back of the rim, bottom of the rim even. And we have a whistle. Three minutes and change to go in the game. Timeout. Teams will retake the court here. Bulls will inbound. Flowers will be the trigger man. Gets it in. Johnson. Johnson gets the lane. Up and under. No good. Rolls out. Rebound Wooten Jr. Tiberones. In the hands of Williams. Probably not going to be in that big of a rush, or at least they shouldn't be. Instead, they run right to the basket, trying to make something happen, and they do, as looks like McCormick was able to finish on the up and under basket. Gardner coming the other way. Tries to throw it up, can't do it. And instead, Williams ends up with a point blank layup. That doesn't go. Now, finally, one does. That was McCormick. But Sacco had the last basket. And it's now back to 119.94. We're looking at a 25 point advantage for the Tiburones. Battle for the loose ball. Caram's out of bounds. And the refs are going to say last touched by the Bulls. Junior tries a three, gets it to go. My goodness. One big shot after another from Junior. 122-94. Three is up. No good. And it goes out of bounds. Sacco being harassed in the full court. Tries to push it across midcourt and does. Gets it to the lane. Kicks out Gardner. Wide open three in the corner. Air ball. Comes down to the Bulls. Pressure defense being applied by the Tiburones. Bulls basketball. Under two to go. Henry attacking. Goes to the lane. Good strong move into the lane, finishes off the window. 122 to 96. A 26 point game. And the Tiburones will win this one going away after a dominant second half. Getting to the lane, not finishing is Williams. Gardner unable to clean it up. Here come the Bulls back into the front court. And then Turner loses it. Back to the Tiburones and a two handed dunk off the run out from Gardner. Now this game has just absolutely gotten out of hand. It's a 28-point deficit. As the teams play out the last minute 18. Both teams, to their credit, still giving some effort as Nelson gets to the cup and finishes. Did a great 
tournament here in Chihuahua, Mexico. 24-98. And steal. Back the other way. Here comes Henry. It's one-on-one. Basako trailing the play. Henry lets him go by and finishes the lay-in. 124 100 24-point game. Under a minute to go. Three is up. That one's long. Rebound is taken by the Bulls. Back into the front court for Nelson. Nelson goes to the cup, finishes the lay-in. And there's about a two-second different shot in game clock. Tiburones can more or less dribble it out. They'd have to turn it over, and then the last second or so would dribble off the clock from there. Sacco dealing with defense from Nelson. Back into the backcourt, tipped by Nelson, so Sacco goes to retrieve it. Five, four, three, two, and one, and that will do it. Final score of this one, 126 Tiburones, 104 Bulls. And that will do it for us. We give a big thanks to everyone here at PBA TV. Curtis and the team, of course, are great. Great job, as always, Commissioner Chris Terrell. And the players, most importantly, the players. What a game. What a tournament. It's been a lot of fun. And I'll tell you something else. Wooten Jr., without a doubt, the player of the game for me. Just a dominant performance. Great game overall from him. And really just a good game overall for the Tiburones. Slow start in the first half, but able to really make it happen in the second half. For our entire crew here on PBA TV, I'm Gary Aid saying so long. We'll see you next time here on PBA TV.